Buffer Social Media Management – How to Use Buffer Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Buffer to build an audience organically and manage your social media. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to buffer.com and you will land on this platform right here. Buffer is a platform that allows you to manage your content across different platforms. You will be able to manage multiple social media accounts and a Pinterest, LinkedIn within one platform and it will allow you to grow your audience and engagement organically. How to get started well you can get to the website and you can click on get started now you can sign up with your email address create a password or you can sign up with your google account as well there is a free plan available as well and you can get started for free without a credit card after the initial sign up this is where you will get this is our main dashboard so you can see on buffer we have publishing then we have analytics engagement start page and more you can always upgrade for more features so let's get to publishing right here and let me show you how to use buffer so uh, let's say actually manage different pages on different social media i have different channels and i need to post content i need to schedule the content i need to keep track of the campaigns check the analytics and engagement and i can do that with buffer so uh, first of all we will have to click on manage channels and it will allow you to add different channels or different accounts to your buffer in order to connect a new channel you have to click right here and now you can select your platform we have TikTok, google business profile instagram facebook twitter linkedin pinterest and shopify you can also search for a channel if you cannot find it right here so let's say i want to actually connect my facebook so i'm going to click on connect and now we have two options if it's a Facebook page or a Facebook group. So I'm going to go with the Facebook page, click on start connecting, and it will take you to your Facebook logins. Now you can continue with your Facebook and give it the authorization. Your Facebook page will be connected. Similarly, if I want to connect my LinkedIn, I'll just click on connect and it will ask me for a LinkedIn page or a LinkedIn profile. So I'm going to go with the LinkedIn profile right here. Click on start connecting and it will open up my LinkedIn for me and I will need to just authorize. So the same way I will connect my Instagram and my Pinterest or Twitter as well. Once the channel is connected, you'll be able to see it right here under channels. So you can see I have connected a Facebook page. We can connect more than three channels with an upgraded plan or with the free plan, we can connect up to three channels and with the upgraded plans, we'll be able to connect multiple channels. We also have organization right here. So organization means that I'll be able to create a folder or organize my channels better. So once the connection is done, we can get to publishing. Under publishing, we have content, calendar and campaigns. So with content, I can create different content ideas. So before publishing, of course, you need a plan or an idea. So click on create idea. And now you have to enter what content you're looking to create. So I am actually looking to post something on my Facebook page. So for that, I'm going to quickly add in my idea. And now we can drag and drop a file. So here we can actually upload the images and the videos that we have in mind. And now I can create a new post instantly if I like the idea or I can save this idea for later. For now, let's save it. So now I have this new content idea ready. I will get to the calendar. Now this is good for scheduling your content. So in calendar, as you can tell by the name, we have a calendar view. So you can first select a monthly view or a weekly view. So I'm going to go with the monthly view right here and it will give me the calendar. So you can select your month. And then we have all posts. All posts will show me the posts that I have posted and we can also, you know, filter our search a little bit. So we have a create post option right here. So I can either click on create post and create a post right here and then enter the date. This is a one way to do it. You can see it's automatically adding the channel that I had selected. It will show you multiple channels right here if you have connected them. 
So I can create a post from here or we can select a date. So let's say I actually want to schedule this post for the weekend. So I'm going to go to the Saturday right here and you will get this add a post option. Click on add a post and now again it will take you right here but this time it is already scheduled. You can see we have a date and a time. So first of all, let's actually go ahead and adjust the timing. I'm going to click on edit and it says 7 a.m. But I want to post it on 7 p.m. So now I'm going to just click on done and it will be changed here. So now we have to enter what we would like to share. Um, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and enter my, again, the idea that I went with. I can post that idea as well or create a new post. So let's create a new post, let's say. And again, I have to drag and drop the file and it will be uploaded right here. This is going to be my caption. We can also add emojis and also go with the hashtags. It will actually provide you a different trending hashtags if you want. We can also get the files from Canva, Dropbox, Google Drive and more. Once you're done, now you can schedule the draft or you can schedule this post. So I'm going to click on schedule and this post will be scheduled for this day right here. So now you can see I have a scheduled post ready. Uh, then we have campaigns right here. Again, I can actually create a social media campaign within Buffer and we can schedule it as well. For this, you will have to upgrade your plan. So if I get back to the content, we have our ideas here and I can, of course, post this idea too. Once you have added a campaign or a post, you can actually track the progress with the analytics tool within Buffer. And similarly, we have the engagement tool as well. So analytics and engagement will help you understand the stats for your social media. If you have a website, if you have Shopify, so it will give you the feedback that you need. And this way, we will be able to scale our content and scale our uh, ideas. So we also have a start page and we have apps right here. So you can actually get a buffer app too. You can anytime log out of your account, check your preferences and channels as well. Let me actually show you the pricing plan so you can get an idea what you get in the upgraded plan for buffer. So you can see we have an essential which is going to be just $5 per month and with this you will get the advanced publishing tools, analytics and reporting, engagement tools and exportable PDF reports. With just $10 per month you will be getting advanced publishing tools, analytics and reporting, uh, draft approvals, engagement tools and more. So you can go ahead and buy a plan if you think and it is a very affordable platform. With Buffer you will be able to increase your creativity and productivity to run a successful business online. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.